Have you ever been invited to a party that sounds really cool? Like it's going to have loads of things that you love there. A great venue, the best food, a free bar. So you turn up in your best gear and the outside looks as promised. But once you get inside it turns out to be really dull. Full of rubbish music, droning voices and really fiddly ways to select a unit on a map. If you've ever been to a party like that in the past then chances are that party was War Party. The new real-time strategy game on the Nintendo Switch. Hi, I'm Paul from Switched On, and it's my dubious honour to bring you the review of War Party on the Switch. Okay, so you may have gathered from the intro the way this review is going to go. Firstly, I want to quantify this review by saying I am a huge RTS fan, and one of my all-time favourite games is StarCraft 2 on the PC. In fact, the second I saw the trailer for War Party when it was shown on an indie showcase, I thought we were getting StarCraft on the Switch. But alas, no. War Party is in fact a real-time strategy game set, to be fair to it quite uniquely, in the lands that time forgot. You'll be leading your Stone Age troops across dinosaur infested lands as you build huts made out of sticks and collect the berries and crystals that are dotted around these barren lands to use as resources. You start by choosing from one of three tribes, each with their own unit types and abilities. Some of these abilities are more interesting than others, with one being able to summon zombies to fight alongside them and the other able to tame wild dinosaurs to join your calls. Whilst this may change up your strategies, to be honest, they are more exciting in theory than they are in practice. Each tribe has its own 12 chapter campaign, which involves winning each map scenario. These range from wiping out the enemies to basic fetch and deliver quests. Honestly again, nothing groundbreaking or interesting at all. And sadly, those seven words can be applied liberally throughout this game. The graphics are bland at best and poorly designed at worst. I constantly found it hard to identify my units at a glance. On a PC, where you can quickly and easily mouse over assets to get a tooltip, I can imagine this experience not being quite as bad, but the sluggish controls on the Switch just make this a chore. Talking of the controls, the control scheme just isn't good at all. From the lacklustre tutorial that doesn't explain how to do some of the things it's asking you to do, to just flat out getting the buttons wrong when it does explain them. Selecting units on the map is an absolute ball ache. To select a group of units, you hold down the A button, which causes a glowing ring to grow, selecting anything caught inside it. It's imprecise, slow and just a terrible design decision really. I've seen footage of the PC version, where you can drag a traditional box with the mouse around units to select them, which is obviously far more precise. Once you have a group selected, just trying to pick a few of them out, like when you need to retreat your hero to safety, is almost impossible. The sound is similarly awful. Some of the music is passable, but the voice acting in the game is another terrible design decision. What needs crushing? Job done. Gather quickly. Eyes the open. smell of blood That's has drawn more here. raptors to us. Warriors, defend the we villagers! Are. It just doesn't suit the feeling of the setting, is repetitive and ultra annoying. There are lots of faults and I'll try and fit them all into my downs at the end of this video but just rest assured this is a very average title with so many poorly thought out elements. Besides the scenario mode, there's a skirmish mode against the AI and an endless mode where you try to survive against the AI onslaught for as long as you can. Tragically, the one thing which may have saved this game, an online mode, is missing completely from the Switch version. I've heard rumours that there's a slim chance this may be added in a post-release patch but I can only review what I've got in front of me right now and at the moment it's missing. I'm going to wrap up this review now with some final thoughts. War Party, to its credit, does try to bring some RTS action to the Switch but fails at pretty much every hurdle. From the bland and confusing graphics, the poor sound effects, terrible controls, dull campaign modes and the sadly missing online mode. If you're absolutely desperate for a real-time strategy game, or just really dig dinosaur games, then you may get some enjoyment here, but for me, this game is absolutely prehistoric. I'm going to give War Party on the Nintendo Switch an extinct 5 out of 10. Thanks so much for watching this review, and if you don't already subscribe, please consider subscribing below, it really helps me out. 
and give the video a thumbs up and why not drop a comment below as well we can have a little chat about what you think of it but until next time i will catch you later bye bye